Welcome to Royal Update. Who do they think they're fooling? A royal commentator claims that Prince Charles's charity drama, alongside Meghan Markle's buried bullying review, has already dulled the sparkle left from the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Before we proceed please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you don't miss in any of my uploads. Who do the royals think they are fooling? Asked royal biographer Ahmed Scoby about a leaked story of Charles's meeting his granddaughter Lilibet for the first time. The Finding Freedom author, writing for Yahoo! News, said that the royal family should still be riding high following the incredible Platinum Jubilee celebrations that took place last month. Unfortunately, though, Scoby said that that sparkle dulled quickly amid the controversies surrounding Charles's charity, the monarchy's annual financial reports, and reports that Meghan's bullying allegation review would be swept deftly under the rug. Charles recently faced criticism following a report from the Sunday Times that the prince had accepted cash totaling 3 million euros from Qatari billionaire Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani as a donation for his charity, the Prince of Wales Charitable Fund. It will not be a surprise if some royal watchers missed these stories as, last week, reports, the most remarkable headlines about the royals centered on Harry, Meghan, and Meghan's mysteriously missing bullying report, along with the heir apparent meeting his granddaughter Lilibet for the first time. However, as Scobie explained, the coverage was not by chance. Never complain, never explain appears to be gradually becoming a memory at the palace at least, that seems to be Prince William's take. Unfortunately, with the rest of the monarchy, a new narrative is taking shape, deflect and distract. You would think that, if the establishment was so keen to strengthen its human resources office, they might have also launched an investigation into Meghan's claims that the same HR department turned her away when she approached them with fears for her mental health and suicidal ideations. As a working member of the firm, wrote Scobie of Markle's bullying review. He then pointed out that, in service of the monarchy's apparently new deflect and distract policy, the strategy had worked. Later that day a quick news search for Prince Charles brought up a long list of headlines about his very emotional time with Harry and Meghan's two children. You would have had to search further down the results to see his £3 million mea culpa. Thanks for watching to the end and guys don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below your comments matters see you next time.